so I decided we're gonna try to make a water meth kit for the car and um, so we're here at Home Depot and I already got this this little pump in line it's a washer pump uh, for 15 bucks from O'Reilly so um, we started off pretty cheap now we just need uh, some spray nozzles and probably a little bit more hose that's probably it from here and with this one I'm, I'm gonna have to end up making my own tank and stuff um, but yeah we'll have uh, data from the ECU and all that stuff and we're gonna you know start small and try to uh try to see if we can lower some intake temps for not a lot of money because i don't want to spend 280 dollars to squirt water into my intake so yeah home depot here we go got the experimental cheapo water meth setup set up got my 15 dollar reservoir 15 dollar pump five dollars worth of hose and mist nozzle do like a little test spray and it's probably not going to be anywhere near enough at first but I figured it'd be best to start small I don't even know if you can see that but there's gonna be first test The next video is going to be it's going to be about testing it and then figuring out which nozzle works best or works at all. We just, I don't, this might not even work. So yeah, I'm definitely going to make that gauge bigger so that while we're driving we can see and, you know, if it's working, it should be pretty obvious that it's working just by watching it, but at the same time, I have this last log from the last time I was driving and we got manifold air pressure, so boost is the red line. And then air temperature is the green line. So the green line is the one we're trying to lower with the water math. And I was going to connect it to the ECU, but um, I'm having trouble figuring out which outputs go to which wire. I'm waiting on an email back from the uh, EFI source. I'm probably going to call them here in a little bit, but yeah, they're a great help, so I'm, I might have the ECU controlling it, but if not, then I'm just going to do it by hand. It'll be fine. It'll be ghetto for now, but it'll be fine. And yeah, hopefully this will work, and then for like 50 bucks, I can get a water meth kit working, but the pump's probably not going to last very long, and in all honesty, I'm probably going to end up building... Still pretty cheap, but I might add another hundred bucks to it, getting some better nozzles and a pump. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for the testing and results and stuff.